Y te sienta contento vos te joinos para el último parte de la serie A Look at Myself. Durante la última semana nos ha presentado en diferentes coordinadores de la área de éxito de Hope Aruba en movimiento. Ahora nos está introducir otro pareja más. Den el primer semana nos ha introducido a la persona encargada que área de individuo. Después, el área de familia. Después, el pareja que va a coordinar el área de comunidad. El pareja tremendo que va a coordinar el área de nación. Y ahora aquí nos está introducir otro pareja más. También joven, un pareja artístico, un pareja que está en el área de media, arte, canto, baile, todo en diferente aspecto artístico. Es más, Emmanuel de persona que está tras de la producción de tour y video nan que vos te mira. Que men, que es aquí, me te introducí vos, que Emmanuel y Tabitha Smith. As a couple, I believe there are certain values that we agree to, uh, upon rather. Um, that uh, builds a pillar in our family. For example, that can be um, when when I met my wife, we, we we agreed to not to scream in the house or to raise our voices to each other. And so what that creates is a culture or the value of peace. So we value peace in our home. As a family, Um, of this community, we, uh, there were certain things that were very important for us to agree to because that affects us, but not only us, but the people we are in contact with in the community. So those were small things that we always agree to and others, of course, to establish in our family. My name is Emmanuel Smith, and this is my beautiful wife, Tabitha Smith Hamestock, and she's the coordinator of the area of values. As a couple, we support this area of success called values. In my life, when I look back at my childhood, I, I, my parents were um, people who served the community. Um, they did that in, in, in the form of pastoring, and they did that for about almost 40 years. Um, I grew up knowing them as servants of the community. You grow up with a sense of always considering others, always considering um, other people, how to help other people. I think that was one of the main values that was instilled in us as, a, as children. Um, how can you serve? How can you make a difference? And many times you, I think growing up, you don't see that you are making a difference um, because of who your parents are. You kind of shy away from that. But in the end, because of who we were as children, we allowed or the, the atmosphere, the culture that they created in the house allowed them also um, the space to really serve in a way that they knew that we were okay, but they also were okay. And um, I think um, that has become part of who I am also as a person. Always very considering of others, um, very um, looking for ways to help and serve um, a greater cause. There's always a greater cause. And that is something that we always looked forward to as a family. Tabby, looking back um, at, uh, a, a little girl who always um, was very, very um, happy and very loved. Um, what I would tell her today is that you are extremely talented, extremely gifted, but also ex extremely caring. And it's okay to let that aspect of you um, come out more. Um, it's okay to let others see who you really are. Um, it's okay to, to be you. You know, you are unique. There's so much um, given to you. Your voice is, is needed, is wanted, is necessary. Um, 
but besides knowing besides uh, experiencing love from others love who you are and express who you are i was born in the in the beautiful area of saint nicholas born and raised um, to two parents who were actually born here my mother grew up in in trinidad and tobago so most of my family on mother's end is from trinidad and tobago um, my my I have I'm a mix, an eclectic mix of Caribbean nations, ranging from Trinidad, Montserrat, Grenada, Curacao, Saint Eustatius, and Aruba. Um, beautiful family upbringing. I always enjoyed my the nucleus of my family very much. I went to school in Saint Nicholas, uh, Commandeur Pieter Boer School. Um, I have very fond memories of my school years. Um, I did well at school. After uh, finishing my uh, primary school, I went over to Colegio Urbano in San Nicolas, studied there, and then moved to Colegio in town. Amazing time. I only can smile when I think on my high school years. By the time we finished, um, we moved to Holland to study. Um, initially, I wanted to study to become a psychologist but um, I chose teaching, which also includes some psychology. Um, I did that for a few years well, um, loved it. Uh, after, I think after becoming a mother, um, I felt it was needed for me to invest time into mothering. Um, I remember just, just a core value that I have that, you know, your children should receive the needed attention from you and so for the first years of my son's life or our son's life you know um, we really spent I, I didn't I did not teach anymore and I started to start I started to think okay what else do I what else am I really passionate about all through my childhood from the age of three I think from the time I started speaking I've always been uh, very musical singing different things choirs solos at I had a very uh, busy musical career um, by the time in my teenage years we had formed a, a, a girl group called Harmony did a lot of shows a lot of major shows were at the point of our peak we were well known on the island um, and then we left to study but music has always been a part of my life music coordinating um, concerts anything that has to do with events that has been basically the story of my life. So I decided to combine that now and um, started to um, coordinate different events for different organizations. And that became a passion of mine. But also um, I have a deep value for when it comes to the ambiance, the, 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 the atmosphere that you want to set, um, whether at home, whether in any event or even in a nation. And I think that has driven me to this point of coordinating what are the values of our nation. Um, uh, if I look back, there, there are certain things that are consistent to creating culture, to creating atmosphere, creating a way of life. And I believe through our values, through our, uh, the, what we believe in, what we really see as valuable, that becomes life. The reason why I feel very strongly about values is because I believe it is rooted in, in a word that we use many times and it's identity. What happened is I grew up with kids that maybe had a different cultural background than I did, seeing that I came from a more in Caribbean English background. Um, and so I learned to speak Papiamento by the age of four. Uh, I spoke Papiamento fluently. Um, when I compare that with other friends who were who went to different schools um, that were more in the center of St. Nicholas, let me put it that way, um, the concentration back then was were, were more people from English background. So my friends, for example, didn't speak Papiamento until maybe going to high school, then they learned it. Um, and so what happens is many times we we fragmentize 
um, cultural background or values. We just fragmentize them and because I'm from here, I adhere to these values or these are the values I, I have growing up or this is the culture I identify with. For example, um, I am married to someone who was born in St. Martin. My husband is from St. Martin. Totally different nation. But there are certain things, there are certain characteristics that it doesn't remove the fact that he's from St. Martin or I am from Aruba. There comes a certain point in time where we must come together and we form one culture. One, and not looking at the aspects of, of, of or the aesthetics of culture, but what is the overall um what is our overall agreement? What is the what is the lifestyle that we want to create or have in our homes? And that comes because his background and my background, we actually find a place where it complements each other. What we do see in our in our nation are things like major events bringing all the different cultures together, and, and suddenly we are one. But it shouldn't be only at major events. What is the binding factor? I believe that's why I believe very strongly. When it comes to our cultural identity, we have shied away, um, especially if, I, if I'm very honest, um, we have a certain identity like um, St. Nicholas is St. Nicholas and the rest of Aruba. So St. Nicholas has a certain culture and the rest of Aruba have a certain, has a distinct different culture. While I believe there is a meeting point for both, there is a place where we must become one. And um, I, because I believe very strongly, I believe that very strongly, I think it's something that has driven me to the place of wanting to coordinate that, wanting to coordinate the conversations that need to be had, the national conversations that need to be had, the, 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 on different platforms and, and through the different arts, finding the common ground. What is, what is it that makes us Aruba? That question of who we are, I believe it's time that we have that conversation. Whether we do that through um, through different means, um, it, we will discuss and we will roll that out um, in the coming in the coming seasons. But I do believe it's important that we start thinking about it and start talking about it. So our focus and our our goal as um, uh, area focus of values is to form or bring together. Um, create unity, establish unity, but also um, identify then what is our national, our cultural identity. And once that is identified, that can only be identified through a coming together, through unity, through oneness. Coming from St. Martin, where there is a Dutch in the front side, we are of two different nationalities, but there was always one culture. The, the connecting factor was always music, language, uh, food, you know. And so when I came to Aruba, I somewhat felt the them and us. And so I believe being a part of this um, movement, I'm also a, a voice of reason. I can see things a bit differently and I'm adding to um, the journey that we're on together. What you can expect from us um, in the coming months is going to be first we're going to work out a national value uh, national value survey and um, we're we're going to identify what our urban values from there we're going to work on a campaign the campaign is going to be launched where I believe our goal is to have everyone be able to state what the values, what are, what, are, what are our national values. Every child is supposed to be able to state what our Reuben values are. Every school should have that. Every, every young person, every older person should know what the values are of our nation. And from there, we move forward, we promote it. We are free to be who we truly are. Mi ta spera kuboso a disfruta di e pareja aki Emmanuel Itabi, ke ne tabai coordina e area di éxito di Hope Aruba di Balorna. Manera bo so por mira, nos tin un equipo campeón, un equipo ku ta kla pa duna nang vida pa sirbishi di nos nacion. Pa asina junto nos traja ribe diferente reto nang den e cinco área nang di éxito 
ko aruba, hopa aruba ta bay en tama su actividad nan, su evento nan, su esfuerzo nan. Junto nos po logra hopi mas. Así nata. Si ainda bono a join en movimiento, dor di like nos Facebook page. Va ir ba Facebook na Hope Aruba Movement. Y así na like nos, conecta con nos, pasina arriba e social media platform aquí, bo po tene al tanto di ture diferente actividad nan di Hope Aruba. A botambe ta Hope Aruba. Ten otro viaja, nos ta quedan en contacto. I am Hope Aruba. I am Hope Aruba. I am Hope Aruba. I am Hope Aruba.